Alright, so we're on this uh, little bike today. It's a Honda 50 Custom, square headlamp, electric start. All the Japanese motorcycles or Japanese Honda 50s or 90s or 70s that have a square headlamp uh, come with electric start. That's how you kind of know. Also, you can tell that it's a 50 rather than a 90, as the 90s in Japan had a white stripe and cross here. And also a white triangle at the back here as well because uh, in Japan you can ride a 50 I believe without a license and then uh, a 90 you need a license so it's uh, just so the police can quickly observe if it's a uh, 90cc or a 50cc bike as well this one has been fitted with a dual seat as you can see here the rack has been removed at the back and you have a kind of a longer seat a lot of people in Ireland are looking for only around 7,000 kilometers on the clock. This bike has been sold and it is our last 50 um, or 90 uh, Cub that we have for sale. Uh, the other one that we have is a uh, Press Cub 50, but I think that has also been sold as well um, as of next week. Uh, soon we'll have up on, probably hopefully early next week, a uh, video outlying what our precautions are going to be like come 18th when we're officially allowed to open dealerships are allowed to open come 18th on monday so watch out for that video on how we're doing our sales from uh, next week onward but for now we're just going to get on the bike and go for a little spin okay so this is actually a different day from when i filmed first i actually couldn't get out the other day and uh, just for unforeseen uh, circumstances but this is going to be the little look around on the bike as I said in the initial part of the video it's a square headlamp four speed and uh, electric start with a fuel gauge on the top as well choke is there condition of the bike is very good only at 7,000 kilometers on it so you'd expect it front tires pretty much brand new I'm not going to do too much this is more for, for the person that's bought the bike um, he's already kind of seen this, he hasn't really seen it riding, so he'll be happy to see it riding down to Retro Bikes Dublin now in a second. So there's the bit of corrosion on the engine there. Small marking on the right hand side panel. Exhaust is in really nice nick. There's that nice dual seat underneath, really clean underneath. Show me an Irish bike that's like that underneath. 2000. There we are, the rear. So, and the left hand side panel, all the stickers, all good. Plastic series, small little mark here, but still attached. And there's the 7108 kilometers now, not miles, because it's a Japanese bike. So, what I'll do now is I'll cut to the sound of the bike on idle and the sound of the bike revving also. Alright, so we're just going to see the electric start working its magic. And well, there we are. So away we go. Again, the indicators make the noise, which is actually very nice. Because you never forget to, you never uh, leave them on, I should say. We're not going to get that light, unfortunately. So we'll just skip past this bit. Alright, so we're away now. Heading on down to uh, Retro Bikes Dublin in Dunleary. There will be a video going up probably Monday. Monday afternoon, hopefully. Maybe later on, but just uh, describing uh, what's happening come the 18th. So uh, the government have put out that dealerships can now open. Uh, car dealerships and motorcycle dealerships like ourselves or vehicle dealerships I should just say um, so we'll be opening come 18th but what we're going to be doing is we're going to do appointment based only viewings or like appointments to see bikes and uh, really 
it's still the notion that uh, before we're all welcomed for people just coming down and having a look at the bikes but now we really can't have more than uh, four people down there at once like it says so um, basically uh, there's two of us going to be down there at all times so that leaves room for only two others to come down so that's really only what people come down to view a bike seriously if they're coming down to view a bike seriously they usually bring themselves or their friend or their friend who's a mechanic to come and view a bike so it only leaves room for appointment based viewings uh, so it just avoids people coming down in, in their droves where you know there might be a little bored at home and they want to do something oh we'll go down and have a look at retro bikes Dublin stock uh, unfortunately that is just uh, not really uh, the case at the minute and not, not super possible right now so we're getting up to 60 kilometers an hour here actually which is nice um, on a 50 so really what it's going to be is you're going to have to ring call up and say I'm interested in this bike and uh, we'll uh, put, you in, put you in at the time that you come down and see the bike and view it then and there also what we're going to be doing is we have kind of an outdoor area in which we can show bikes let's see where this guy is going okay he's gonna let us through <coughs> excuse me so we have an outdoor area where we can show bikes and then we've our indoor area where we, we store all of our bikes. So that's going to be locked off as well because it's going to be a safe zone for us. Uh, that we're not going to be letting anyone into the actual premises. It's just going to be outside. So if you want to come down and see a particular bike, that's fine. What we'll do is we'll bring out the bike to the outdoor area and we'll leave you view it at the um, two meter distance. Any questions, I mean, you can, you can point us out to us. Uh, before that anyway regardless all of our bikes have videos so uh, when you come down to view the bike the bike is going to be exactly how you saw it in the video we always do anything that's put up on our either our website or done deal always has a video and um, pictures so very detailed pictures on a, taken on a DSLR and then the video itself has a full visual, visual inspection where we point out any marks and if you've seen any of our videos we're very very honest and show every little mark on the bike we then go out and drive the bike so you know if your dealership isn't happy to drive the bike themselves why should you be so that just kind of eliminates any any crap in the middle you know what you're, you're getting exactly when you come down and there's not going to be any discrepancies between the video and uh, when you come down to view the bike so the bike should be exactly how you see it so if you are interested in the video and you're saying that's the bike I want I'm gonna go down and see it more than likely it's going to be the same and uh, you're going to want to purchase the bike come arrival but that's really it this 50 has been running nicely I mean it hasn't been run in a while so that's why we wanted to get it down and run for the person uh, we've done a little bit of a, a pep up on it just checking the carburetors uh, all the gearing as you can see indicators battery uh, seat sits perfect not wobbling around plastics lights everything like that we've checked so um, the customer should be very very happy with this little bike and it's the last of our 50s we've no more and we've no more coming in for foreseeable future so anyway that's been it for this video if you have liked the video please do leave a like also comment down on the comment section below on what you think of this bike and finally subscribe if you haven't already